Hey y'all, so this is my third time attempting to pack. Um, I apologize for the messy hair. I am just like, I have no finals today. I don't work till five, so I'm just like trying to get everything packed. And, oh, I don't know what to do. I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. I keep second guessing my organization skills. And so I packed like twice, or at least packed my carry-on twice. And then I just unpacked everything again. I'm just gonna go for it now, I think. We're going to shut up Shaggy, actually. Shut up Shaggy. This is what's going to be in my carry-on. Just this lovely pile of things. Uh, pencils. This is my poncho. That my mom actually thought of. This is my little adapter for um, USB. So these are what the adapters, like what I'll have to plug. I think my USB cord into, I believe, is how I go. Like my USB adapter. And my battery charger into this. Here's just one of the extra batteries I bought for my camera. I bought two batteries and a charger, a wall charger for like 20 bucks off Amazon. All right, these are all my toiletries. This is the rule that they have on the airlines. You can fit as many three ounce things in a quart as possible. I think I did that. I've got sanitizer, shampoo, conditioner, body wash, toothpaste, deodorant, and lotion because apparently lotion helps with the dry air. Um, Soap, hotel soap is what I'll be using over there because yellow toothbrush. Pretty much these are just things if my check luggage would get lost. These are the things I could not live without. Fiber One. I love Fiber One. Some people don't like Fiber One and I don't know why. This umbrella is my favorite color. One of my favorite colors. <sighs> these books I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take two books. Plus I'm gonna have ebooks on my phone. Um, Language of Hoof Beats and A Great and Terrible Beauty. Language of Hoof Beats, you guys all know I love my horses, but this is a little different. It's, I think, about a lesbian couple who moves to a small town, <laughs> and one of their adoptive daughters befriends this horse that belongs to this bitch, I guess, and all this drama ensues. I'm kind of interested. It sounds kind of original. Um, so I'm interested to read that. And then a Great and Terrible Beauty, I don't even know what this is about. My coworkers recommended this, so. This is my passport, pretty much my life support thing. I'm gonna have my credit cards in here, my debit cards. This is my passport, boom. And then money's also gonna be in here. I'm gonna put this around my neck and I'm pretty much gonna keep this on me ah, at all times. Like, this is life right here. I think these hairspray things are absolutely adorable. I don't know why. And these are cattle ear tags. We stick them in cattle's ear and they're usually equipped with a number. And so if a cow has a baby, then we put the tag in her ear with the number that matches its mom so then we can identify them and like things are just easier when cows have ear tags on them. And we're going to use these to identify our group suitcases with bright yellow cow ear tags because we're going on an agriculture trip, so why not? I have three things for motion sickness because I am very prone to it. Um, I had a nightmare experience when I went to Washington DC in sixth grade from Omaha to Chicago. I was good because I had one Dramamine and then mom gave me half a Dramamine from Chicago to Washington DC and the motion sickness stuck with me the entire week until the last day. I don't want to deal with that while I'm in China. I do not. Um, I, also, I also have clothes to go through. I'm not honestly going to pack that many clothes because I'm taking the Tide and I think they just recommended like the bare minimum. Suitcase has to weigh. 40 pounds, but if we're gonna buy things over there, they recommend it under 30. I think I can hit that. I don't know though. I always overpack. My mom always like overpacked and was prepared for anything, and that's kind of how I've turned out to be. But I'm gonna try and suppress that urge to do that. My my carry-on's just gonna have less in it when we actually get over there. Like once we're there, I'm gonna like put a whole bunch of stuff into my carry-on in my check luggage so any emergency things that I'm going to need are going to stick with me on the carry-on and the rest is just going to get thrown in my check luggage <sighs> until we fly from Guangzhou to Xi'an and then I'm going to have to switch it all again. But these are the only two things I'm taking for luggage. I think I can pull it off. I hope. We'll see once I get my clothes packed. So I'll let you guys know about that in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> so I have to run to Walmart. Um to go pick up a Mother's Day gift for my mom, even though I made her a homemade card, trying to make up for the fact that I'm leaving her since I'm going to China. I have to go pick up gallon bags because I can't like have another little bag in my suitcase for all the toiletries, I guess it has to be see-through, which kind of screwed up. 
my thought. I gotta go get some licorice because I hate all my licorice. And I gotta go get my glasses tightened because they're super loose and they like fall off every time I like move my head. So that's fun. Possibly call Visa to tell them that my debit card's gonna be over in China with me. I already called for my credit card. And as soon as I'm back from China, I'm going to be going home home. Back to the ranch, back to the horses, back to my horses. Guys, I miss my horses, I miss riding. I'm so ready to go home, which is go ride. Hey y'all, we're at the community garden. This is Alina, you guys have seen her in some of my videos. She's helping me relax and focus because I leave tomorrow for my flight on Monday. Hey y'all, so I am in Sioux Falls. I leave tomorrow and to get here to Sioux Falls to my friend's house was crazy. We left uh, the town where I went to college and it rained the entire time. We've had a tornado watch, tornado warnings, everything. When we were driving to our friend's house, when we finally got into the city, my mom was actually ahead of me and she had the directions and I was just following her and there were times like it was pouring and the street wasn't draining and it was, it was terrifying. Like I was, I don't like storms and it was just nuts, it was crazy. So I'm at my friend's house. They were very gracious to let me stay here tonight and then she's actually gonna take me to the airport tomorrow, bless her heart. Um, so yeah, I'm here and it's just, just got done raiding. The sun is kind of trying to come out, but it's absolutely green and gorgeous. And it just, oh, it looks great. It looks awesome. They're actually going to um, order Chinese food, Chinese takeout in honor of me going to China. They're, they're wonderful people. I thought I'd just come out here and finish this vlog and then this is gonna be it for Sunday. And then from now on, you guys aren't gonna see any more videos of me. So we'll see y'all next time. Son, isn't that enough?